welcome back to the channel now before we start i'd like to give another mention to my youtube channel we just hit 200 which is amazing but um the numbers can keep going up so if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed the link will be in the description below i'm posting a magic trick every day for december it's going really well and um my latest trick actually just went out about 20 minutes ago and it's a, it's a really good one it's probably my favorite card trick to perform so please if you haven't gone there already please subscribe please check the check out the videos leave a comment what you think it means the world the albion family have been really good to me for this channel and i'm just hoping the numbers keep growing and growing so please if you can give a hand on to the albion video now as you can tell i am not very well well i'm i feel fine i just got a bit of a croaky throat um now it's a bit of a weird one tomorrow because the game's going ahead but it looks like newcastle are going to have to put out some reserves uh, some under 23s and because the, the their team has been decimated by covid they obviously had to miss the game with villa as well so who really knows um but what I do know is that we can't underestimate them because there'll be a lot of young lads in that Newcastle team that will be absolutely desperate to take their chance. And they're not going to pass up the opportunity, so we've still got to be at the top of our game, especially with what happened against Palace. And whilst I don't want to talk about that, the best way to respond is by getting a win, especially with Billich's job on the line. Now, my personal opinion would be I think it'd be suicidal to sack Billich at this point. I don't. You, you see a lot of the teenagers online saying our oh, other managers, but, but I think it's different because you've got, you got a manager like Daniel Farker. Newcastle won five games last season and they got some, I think they got 21 points in, in total, which is a dreadful, dreadful return. But they've kept Daniel Farker and they stayed with him and they're doing pretty well at the minute. I think it would be a dreadful, dreadful, dreadful decision to get rid of Billick. I think that the players' heads would drop. I think whilst they're under Billet, just staying motivated at least, that's the key thing. But I think that the heads would drop, the results won't actually improve, they get worse. Um, and I just I just really think it'd be a bad idea. And then you've got the obvious question is who would replace him? I can't think of anyone really. Yeah, everyone, there's a lot of people saying Eddie Howe, but I don't think he's ready for management again at the minute. Um, so who knows? But... Let's get the win because I want Billich to stay and we need some points on the table. Now, technically, we aren't actually that far from a safety point. We're only a point outside the relegation zone, but we've still had only six points so far. Now, I said at the start of the season, if we got 12 points, I'd be happy because I didn't want to be the record breakers. But a win against Newcastle would be a big, big boost. Um, we've got a lot of teams playing around us. We've got really tough games. I know at Fulham, we've got Liverpool someone but then we've got the fact that we've got man city on tuesday and then we've got villa on sunday which i'd i'd take a pummeling off man city if it meant we got a result against villa any day of the week but i think because they're danger players i don't really know how to what to say about the danger players because i don't know who's gonna be playing but conor gallagher you got another goal for us he's a danger player for us i would say Pereira, but he's banned for no reason i'm not salty about that um, you've got you're probably looking at Soyuz coming back into Soyuz didn't leave but you're probably looking at Livermore maybe coming back or putting Kravinovic in Pereira's role um, who knows it's a really you can't really predict anything that's going to come from Saturday because nobody really knows what's going to be happening it's a strange one but we've just got to hope that the lads are up in their A game and we've got back the lads because that's what matters um, I really 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 hope we get a result because I'd don't want Billich to go. That's the focus. But no three points on the table would be lovely. So my score prediction, I'm going to go oh, 2 on to us. I have a bad feeling they're going to score first though, but I feel that we could peg it back. I'm going to go with a goal scorer. I'd love it to be Carlin Grant because he's been slated a lot online, which I think is unnecessary. He's um He's had a poor start. But there's no need to be horrible about him. He's only just settling in. 
And Callum Robinson, now the one thing I do think is that Callum Robinson should be starting consistently. We play better when he plays, that's just a fact. And I love the guy, so I hope he plays and I hope he scores. That's it really, can't do much of a pre-match preview because nobody really knows what to expect. Let's hope we get the win and let's hope that Slav stays in the job. Again, please check out my YouTube channel, the link, will be in the, the link will be in the description below. Go check out today's video and all the others if you can. Drop a comment, drop a like. And I really hope you enjoy my channel as well. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.